Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play I Want to Be the Love Trap. I am Captain Boris Falcon, and today, uh, I don't think we're going to be taking down either of these bosses, but I figure that today we're just going to start off and see how we do just, you know, fighting off against this giant bastard for the first time. So, yeah, pretty much uh, everything goes significantly faster, but... The important thing that I still, that I know is that, uh, it's about 40 shots to take this guy down. Anyway, he's got a pretty good bounce, it's not, uh, too extremely vertical, and we're able to still be getting two shots on him early. We won't be getting two shots in on him, uh, once we get into the deeper part of this battle, uh, because it's just, it's just ridiculously dangerous to jump any time in this battle when you get to a certain point. Let's see, how many are we at? Uh, okay, so currently we've just gotten through the beginning phase. What I like to call the beginning phase anyway, the first 10 cherries. Now we're at the intermediate levels, the teens. It gets to about hard once you get to the 20s, and then it's crazy time once you get to the 30s. <laughs> I'll be surprised if we get to the 30s at some point during uh, one of these recordings, but you know, well, I think we'll get there, but get to the late 30s. Oh, that's going to be new territory. I've never been in the late 30s before. I've made it to 34. So I've made it pretty far into this boss fight, but not much further. And I haven't been keeping count of the cherries either, so that means that the only way that I can rely on how far we are in the battle is just uh, approximation. I think we're probably like 17 or 18 right now, which is pretty good, which is pretty good. It means we're making good progress. Oh, nice, got two cherries out. I don't know if we're going to get two cherries again from this point on. Oh, boy. Yeah, that looked dicey. There's a lot of diciness when you get to this point in the battle. But my best advice that I've come to learn from this is do not jump unless it's absolutely necessary. Just don't even. Stay on the ground for as much as you possibly can. Like, even if you are so tempted to just jump up for, say, a shot or something, just don't do it. Stay on the ground as much as possible. Use light jumps whenever possible. And if you if it, you think, especially later in the battle, it puts you at risk shooting him, uh, just go for a pass at that point. Oh, boy. Uh, one of the horizontal cherries is coming down to kill me. Oh, boy. <laughs> like, see, that's the thing, is that things like that uh, will come down and kill you. Oh, I don't like that horizontal cherry. Uh, it's way too horizontal for my liking. No. <laughs> uh, anytime, anytime the cherries drive me up into the air, I'm screwed. Okay, so we've got a verted cherry, uh, giant cherry here, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it just means that we won't be able to get two cherries out of him uh, for too long. Like, see, already can't get a second cherry out. You just have to be really good with your timing. Oh, one of the things that also changes uh, with this version, I don't think it was in the previous uh, version of this boss fight, uh, is that cherries act as physical objects now, so if you shoot them, your bullets will die. Oh, another horizontal cherry. Well, at least that one doesn't look as bad. But the nice thing about the vertical cherry is that you get uh, a lot more opportunities to shoot him later in the battle, so... You don't have to fight him as long once you get into the danger zone, which is a very important thing when it comes to this fight. Also, I'm jumping a lot here just because of the fact that, you know, early in the battle it's not really dangerous. Oh boy, I, so I see you, Cherry. I see you. <laughs> but just so much uh, can go wrong in this battle. Just so much. And... Yeah, probably once I uh, actually start doing this uh, for longer periods of time, because I'm not going to do too many attempts of this right now. Um, like when I say do an hour recording or something, I'm not going to be uh, listening to the in-game song, because I think I'm just going to go insane if I have to listen to it. <laughs> I mean, and this is a boss where I don't necessarily need to listen to the song to, for the fight. I can actually go and put something else on to listen to, so that's what I'm going to do. And because Hatsune Miku, uh, I don't get any options there, especially not with the uh, harder version. 
I may have pulled it off in uh, some of my uh, failed attempts there. An almost successful attempt, uh, playing it without Hatsune Miku music, but yeah, uh, not gonna work with Hatsune Mach 2. Oh boy, that that's the kind of things you gotta look out for is when you have five cherries coming down. <laughs> so, now I gotta make sure I'm not focusing too much on the big cherry here because I've got to focus a lot more on these little cherries that are coming down now. Because, ah, oh, really? Really, did that just happen? Did that cherry that uh, just spawned come straight at me? My gosh. Ugh. I haven't had that happen in a while. I've been dreading it happening for the longest time, and then it just goes and happens during a recording. Of course. Of course, have to have that happen. <laughs> okay, let's get some cherries out of you. Ugh. And then the thing is that you go all the way back to no cherries. You just have to start all over again. That's what drives me up the wall with this boss. It's, it's uh, Do you know uh, Endurance Alley uh, from Mario Party 6? That's kind of what this is like. Um, it's like getting to minigame uh, 60 and then dying. It's just you're never going to get back there ever again. I think that's about the furthest I ever made it in that game was like... Oh, 60, maybe 70. I may have made 70, but never again, never again. And that was after being stuck around in the 50s for such a long time. But, you know, those A-button mashing minigames are what screw you over in that. I think the only way that you can uh, actually win that is to cheat by not having all the minigames unlocked so that you can just spend all your time doing the ones you can win. I don't know if anyone's actually successfully done a legitimate attempt at that with all minigames unlocked. Either way, people don't really upload much of just things like Endurance Alley and Mario Party 6. I really did miss that in Mario Party 8, because those are the only two Mario Party games I actually, damn it, own right now is Mario Party 6 and Mario Party 8. Although, I did play a lot of the N64 ones when I was a kid, because, you know, I'd play them at friends' houses, and it, it'd just all be good times. Mario Party is always good times. Okay, I'm thinking that this will be our last attempt at the Giant Cherry. After this, we're going to fight Hatsune a bit, just to get, uh, you know, our feet wet. Just get a little of the feel for it. And you get to see the awesome thing about the Hatsune Miku battle that happens at the start every single time. Just the most awesome of things. Okay, Cherry. Okay, we're in the intermediate phase now, I think. Or at least that's what I'm calling it. We're at intermediate difficulty. So, if I die here, yeah, that's just telling me that, yeah, it's time you stop this year. You've been dying too much. You need to do something else. Do something else with your life. One of the things I'm especially dreading with this boss fight is when, you know, I have my death at Cherry 39. Because I know that that is going to happen. At Cherry 39 or even 40 when all the cherries fall down. I just know that that's going to happen to me. So I'll hold my breath and hope that it doesn't. But no, I'm, I'm dead certain that's going to happen to me at least once. That's one of the things you always expect in I Want to Be the Guy games. You are going to die to the troll death at the end at least once. At least once in your life. And I am not going to think positive on this one, because I just know that there is... There's no way. And you know what? If I think this way, and then it somehow I don't have that happen by a miracle of miracles, I'm going to just... Uh, I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to be happy about it. Okay, we're in the... We must be at 20 or something right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hate when those cherries just kind of capture you there. You gotta be... You gotta watch out. Not get captured and trapped by the cherries. Yeah. That's why I don't jump. Because chances are you're gonna jump right into a cherry. Oh, boy. All these cherries just coming down. Yeah, you think that you can look at this and remember where every single one of these cherries is? I think not. Oh, boy. 
I was not. That was pure luck, really, because I wasn't showing much foresight there. So if one of those cherries happened to be coming at a bad angle, there was nothing I could really do about it. Okay, we are getting deep into this battle this time. Let me tell you, by the looks of it. Oh yeah, we're at this point in the song. Yeah, we're definitely far in. No! Ugh! Damn it! Ugh! Too many cherries, too many distractions. Hatsune Miku, let's go. And also introducing a um, mini Hatsune Miku, uh, who I like to know as the demon child of Hatsune Miku. Just look at it down there. Look at it down there. You know, it is it is the epitome of all evil, in my opinion. That thing down there. That thing down in the corner. Down there between Hatsune Miku's feet. Yes, and this is what happens at the start every single time. You have to listen to the full song. So... Oh. But like I said, I have my signature move for dealing with the first phase. Hatsune Miku Mach 2 changes nothing. Yeah, you think that you're gonna force me to give up my routine? I think not. Even if I died there, I will do that every single time and there's not a Foose Jane thing you can do to stop me. Oh, this is what happens if you try pressing the S key to skip the cutscene. Yeah, the creator took that into account and so put in a very nice troll. Just for you. Let's go skippity jumping off to our demise. <laughs> oh yes, it's all good fun, but now Hatsude! I like your blue hair, even though it kills me. Just like everything else. Oh. I mean, you have to wonder what goes through the kid's mind during this point. I don't know, maybe it's like, um, you know, the feeling you have just before the brace. You're at the starting blocks, you're just mentally preparing yourself, and then... The dive! Oh yeah! Feeling good! Oh yes, I'm gonna get through this. Especially now. And now in this phase I like to dance with the demon. Dance with the devil! Ha 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 ha! Oh gosh, no, 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 that was bad, that was bad. Yeah, I kind of always uh, am a bit dicey uh, when it comes to dealing with these leaks. You know, when I was watching this, uh, like s somebody else do this for the first time, I always thought that, you know, those horizontal leaks look so much easier than the vertical leaks. But uh, no, they are about 10 times worse now that I've, <laughs> now that I've had experience. Okay, come on up, demon. You know you want to. The party's all up here. Yeah, I... You have to completely just uh, change your strategy up uh, when it comes to the Hatsune Miku second battle. I need to lure her up here, get down really fast. Oh, nice. I'm liking the looks of this. I might actually get an attempt. No, 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 no. Oh... Holy smokes! Holy smokes! We're actually gonna do... A little bit of practice. No! No! So dicey! So dicey! Ah! I was trying to I was trying to lure Hatsune somewhere else, but Yeah, we were actually that's actually a really good attempt. Like, it is freaking hard to get past the pink cherries. I'm actually really pleased. I'm really pleased to have done such a good attempt, uh, in one of my first tries. Yeah, that qualifies as a good attempt for me. Do you have any idea how long we're going to be doing this boss fight? <laughs> if I uh, recorded every single time that I fought Hatsune Miku, I would probably have more videos than I have up on my channel right now. All fighting Hatsune Miku Mach 2. And a, a good chunk of them would probably be watching the opening cutscene, just due to the fact that... Oh, I sometimes just... I jacked too lackadaisical during the first phase, and that's what cost me. That's what really, really is probably holding me back, is the fact that I'm not putting in my best effort every time, and then when you don't do that, you have to wait. You can't just go like Hatsune Miku Mach 1, just jump right back into the, 
the swing of things. You have to make sure every attempt counts. My gosh! Making the same mistake twice. Yeah, that is the kind of thing that screws me over in this fight. Is when I do something like that. Die at the very first frickin' jump. <laughs> my gosh, my gosh. How you doing there, down there, Demon Hatsune? You're looking pretty happy. You're always looking happy. Just like you're always trying to shove your leak up my ass. And I don't appreciate that very much. I really, really don't. Although I probably should uh, taunt you less, just because of the fact that... Uh, I know that I'm dead certain I'm going to die to her. When we come to the worst phase of all, the finale. <laughs> oh boy, there is nothing here for me except running... Oh my gosh. Hitting ceilings, failing to make jumps. This is what uh, this fight defines for me. And that's also why I hate those freaking horizontal ones. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you were thinking uh, back to the last fight, how you were sh you were able to shoot those things and destroy them, yeah, that is completely gone from this fight. You can't destroy anything. Absolutely nothing. Your sh your bullets are worthless. They may as you may as, may as well just throw away your gun. It's it's not even going to be of assistance to us at this point. Because after all, this is Hatsune Miku Mach Two. She doesn't take shit from you. She just deals it out. And you have to live with it or die with it. Mostly die with it. Okay. Ready to jump? That was a terrible idea. That is probably one of the, single-handedly, one of the ways that I probably die the most. is because I haven't bothered developing a decent strategy. And my gosh, stop throwing those leaks where I have to jump over them. My gosh, Hatsune. <sighs> you and your damn leaks. Just ruining everyone's day. Okay. Now I go up, and let's dance with the demon again. Dance with the devil. Dance, 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 dance. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was not a good idea. <laughs> but hey, we're alive, and I don't like the looks of that field at all. Okay. Where's an opening? Oh my gosh. Is there even an opening that I can do without having to... Oh, come on. Come on, you really? You couldn't You couldn't let me have that one? Aw. Well, I think that we've seen as much as we're going to see today, so... Anyway, this has been introducing uh, the Giant Cherry and Hatsune Miku Mach 2, the bosses that I will be fighting for quite a significant amount of time. So, I would like to ask uh, all I want to be the love players out there, if you have any advice and tips and tricks that you would like to pitch out to me for trying against the Giant Cherry or against Hatsune Miku Mach 2, I would love to hear absolutely anything. <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna... I'm not even going to. <laughs> yes, I would absolutely love to. And you know what, I, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna show you one of the Eevees that we are probably never ever gonna get. And which Eevee is that? It's the original one! And, uh, this looks pretty tough, doesn't it? And it gets worse. Much worse. What you are seeing here isn't even the entire thing you have to do. And that final jump isn't even the final jump you have to make. It is all very, very nice and fun. Trust me. Trust me, you'll love it. You'll love it if you try doing this. Let me see. But anyway, uh... So thank you guys so much for watching, and may you soar like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out! Hatsune, I'm not going for you next time. I'm going for the cherry. It's all cherries next time!